No! The bitch is dead. Are you stupid? <laughs> I don't want cookies! Back, back. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's this? What's this? Blue? 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 Oh my god. Ah! No! No! If this thing is behind us... <laughs> Happy Thriving Thursday. That's the screen I wanted to go to. Happy Thriving Thursday, chat. Welcome to stream. It's Majora's Mask Day. I hope we're having a great day today. Welcome in to Mark, to Kid, and to Chris, who just came in. Excuse me. Um, I need a vibe check, y'all. How are we doing? Astro, welcome in as well, who just came in. Hello, hello, guys. He doesn't want your cookies, bloop. Yeah, we all love that intro. God damn this piano. Yeah, isn't that piano fire? The last moon of the the last movement of that piece is so just it's so glorious. Hello, hello guys. How are we doing, y'all? How are we doing? I will admit today was a little bit challenging for me at like one o'clock. <laughs> um, but we we made it through. I'm I'm learning, I'm growing. Um That's the best we can do, you know? As humans, the best we can do is just, you know learn grow and keep going pretty much um i got my gatorade here to keep me awake for the stream because today um for majora's mask since we're 100 percent in the game we do have a lot of side quests to do before we head into great bay the next era of the game which i despise and i promise i'm not stalling <laughs> I just have to do these side quests. Like, we're getting a sword upgrade, um, more heart pieces, more masks we're going to obtain. So, all that good stuff. Yes, Chris. Gatorade is amazing. My favorite is the fruit punch flavor. The fruit punch flavor is, in my opinion, the best one. Um, followed right behind by the orange flavor. Yes. Yes, kid. Yes. I'm glad we agree. I'm so glad we agree. So, I'm going to go ahead and move forward to... Madra's mask. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is play the Invert Song of Time. Um, that's not it. There we go. Oh, oops. There we go. It is the best flavor, I agree. Best flavor of the Gatorades. I figured out there's like a dark... Excuse me. I figured out that there is like a light blue one and a dark blue one. I tried the dark blue one. I didn't really like it. I think the light blue one's like a glacier freeze flavor that I think I like more. Um, hang on just a second. So the first thing we're going to do, chat, is upgrade our sword. Okay, so apparently we're going to need 100 rupees for this task. Do you like Capri Sun too? I also buy that. Capri Suns are great. I drank the shit out of those as a kid. The blues are right, yeah. The dark blue one's kind of, yeah, it's mid. I'm not doing three days a week at the internship, which is the maximum amount of time I can do. And in about a month or two, I'll be told if I'll be going or I'll be staying. Do you want to, you want to stay, right? Or do you want to, like, do something else, you know? Like, I don't know. Because I don't really know how internships work. I'm going to a fly off a bridge. Hannah, hello. Welcome to Streamhouse Painting. How much do you have left? I know, painting takes so long and it's such a bitch. I know. So, guys, in order to upgrade our sword, we have to go back into the Snowhead Temple and defeat Goat, the boss that we beat last stream. Which is really, really, really annoying and time-consuming, but you know what? It's what we have to do to get the sword upgrade. 
But thankfully, we can skip the entire dungeon and go straight to Goat, since we already defeated this dungeon. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go to Goron Link, do the um, the Sonata of, of the law of this, this one. That. I'm losing strength and my neck and shoulder are crying for mercy. Have you been painting all day? Since like 1030? What's up, Tracy? Welcome to stream. How you doing? How was school today? All right, yeah, fall asleep. Go, roll over. Yeah, yeah. Since 10.30, have you at least eaten? Have you at least eaten? We do need to gather some arrows of magic before we go fight Goat again. I don't need bombs. Do I have a fairy? I'm gonna take the fairy. I'm taking the fairy. I'm taking it. Uh, Hannah, don't you dare tell me didn't eat. Hurting and exhausting. I just got home, grabbed a plate of dinner. Rex head out and came up here. That's what you do. If you're exhausted, tired, hurt, inside or out, just come home, grab a plate of dinner, and just go to your relaxing area. Oh, hell yeah. Are you going to post what you painted in the Discord? What? Yes, I definitely want to stay and everyone likes me there. Plus, I get free stuff that's no longer needed. Hey, free stuff. Stay. Fucking stay. Hannah, I swear to God, you did not eat. Did you have something today? Just, I don't even care if it's not healthy. Did you eat something? Man, you really want to get this, this painting done. There are some arrows. Okay, now we can advance. He cooked a steak and made himself a breakfast burrito. I just grabbed the steak he had left over. <laughs> nice. Okay, what'd you have? Oh, I probably shouldn't do this on this narrow pathway. Hannah, you know I love you, right? But you kind of need to eat. Stop what you're doing. Have you ever watched Weekend at Bernie's? I have not. Never heard of that. So that's probably why I don't know what you're talking about. Just so you know, Shang is killing it. Oh, I bet he is. How's he doing? I bet he's loving it at that school. He's been dreaming of being a principal at a school forever. And I'm so glad he finally gets the opportunity. We gotta go up this little thing. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to punch, not curl. I'm taking this nice and slow because I don't want to fall off this. Okay, we can punch this time. Bam. Wish you were there. We need to slowly get you and Melissa there. That would be lit. Gosh, I miss Melissa. I really do. I miss working with her. Not that my, my not that my art teacher isn't good like Gibbons. I love him. He is so fucking funny. But I just miss Melissa, you know. Yeah, we get it. We can fast forward to the boss. You know what you want for food, though? You probably need protein. I would go for, like, a burger. You did? Yeah. G oh, my God. Gibby is so... <laughs> he may He's one of those that says, like, those one-liners at the... It's the timing of his jokes that's so perfect that makes them so funny. Berber? Huh? <coughs> oh, for sure. Definitely. Alright, here's Goat. So we gotta kill him to make Snowhead spring again so we can get the sword upgrade. Burger, not Berber? I did say burger. It may have sounded like I said Berber, but I did say burger. Mass mechanical monster goat. I feel old. Oh, because of when that came out. I give up on explaining. Oh, is it the... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell you are talking about. What the fuck is Berber? Okay, go get your ass over here. 
Get your ass over here. Come on. Power up. Okay. Get him! Oh my gosh, this electric attack. It's a funny way to weigh burger. A funny way to say burger? I mean, yeah, burger. Well, yeah. Alright, go. I'm killing you faster this time. Oh, you're about to shoot with electric shock! It's also a carpet. What up, Hush? So, Berber is also a carpet. Oh! I almost got hit by that rock. Okay, I kind of need you to die quickly, Goat, so we can get these side quests underway. Okay. Ooh, Tracy coming in with those shout outs. Thank you, Tracy. Need to shout out the kiddos. Absolutely. Everyone gets a shout out. Ooh, yes, he's, he's, he's down. Yes, get him. Get him. We did a shit ton of damage. Man, how come that electric always hits me? I cannot dodge it. Chill, my, I almost said a mixture of Shelby's and Pity's and it almost sounded like shit. Shelby, what's going on, girl? Welcome to stream. Oh, here comes the Salactites. Goat. Come on, get, get the power. Get the power. There we go. Okay, why are you going so much faster? Excuse me. Ha, dodge your electric attack, bitch. What you gonna do now, huh? Oh, I landed on top of, oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're doing some damage, we're doing some damage, we're doing some damage, la, 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 la. Man, I did that much faster than the first time. Thank you, Tracy, for all those shout outs. You get a cookie. Hey, how's it going? Man, we kicked his ass that time. Okay, so now we gotta go into the, where's the, Oh, it's up there. So now it'll be spring again in Snowhead. Not too well right now. All, oh, I'm sorry. But I'm married now that I'm here. Oh, thank you, Pitties. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Honestly, this is already making me feel better too because my last class was a nightmare. Okay, so now. Good night. So we gotta go to the house here. I think. Okay, do I talk to you? Oh, go, go, oh, go, go, go. Oh, a customer. Gabor, fetch our customer some coffee, quick like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Why do you look like that? I hate to be. Um, oh. Hello, clip. stream. It's me, Cowboy. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What? I got it's the crazy. meat. Oh, oh, she's not there. I got the meat. I was supposed to go. Is Tracy there? No, she's not there. Is that a beard or a tie? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. And thank you, Hannah, for shouting out Tracy. You also get a cookie. Calpy, so I was streaming. He was like, look at the meat. Hmm. All right. To reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? Yes. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Ooh, go, go, go. So you can't speak English. It's a goatee with a tie? Yeah, it's both. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, in the northern part of Goron Village, there's a cave-like entrance to the Cowder... Cowder. Goron Powder Keg Shop. Northern part of Goron Village. So we gotta go... Let's put the bunny hood on. Tracy gets the star. Bam, bitches, absolutely. 
Ooh, not what a what a nice fart. Eight out of ten fart. So wait, where the Wait, that's Goron Village. Yeah, we, yeah, we're going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so confused for a second. All right, let's make our way to Snow, not Snowhead, Goron Village. Look how beautiful this place looks now, y'all, because Goat's defeated. It's back to Spring. These wolfos won't leave me alone. The mass fought. Okay, so in the northern part, there's a powder keg shop. Here? Yeah, it's here. Goron Powder Keg Shop. Okay, here we go. Um, there's a Goron inside a Metagoron who sells um, Powder Kegs, but he must certify you with a little test. He'll give you a free one with a long wig that's already lit. You have about two minutes to get it where it needs to go, then it'll explode. Good thing you're wearing gloves. We love the mass farts. Don't we, chat? Yeah, it makes us feel so much better with the mass farts. Okay. Toss it up each ledge, then roll up and repeat. Once you get to the exit, take it to the wooden ramp and walk it all the way to the exit of Goron Village. Now you're on the road to Goron Village. Between Goron and Village. And if you look to the north, there's a giant boulder on upper ledge. Ah, I see. Okay. Can I have a powder keg? I'm the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Oh. Oh. Since March, I've picked up in total three PCs, one mini PC, two laptops with an expansion dock, two USB-C docks, USB joystick, two keyboards, two mouse, four, four to three ratio monitor, and a ton of manuals. All of them are perfect for archiving. We should not forget what we had as they have led to it. Wow. That's amazing, Astro. Oh my god, you're getting... That's... So this is the type you're getting for free from the internship? Fuck my... He sends me a text saying, I wonder where I am, and then sends a photo of him at a Brazilian steakhouse. So always like rub it in, like look at where I am. Look where I am, kid. Want a powder keg? Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I've tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. We give it a try. If you can destroy the boulder, okay, well, yeah, whatever. Give us it. If you look to the north, there's a giant boulder. Okay, so apparently we have to take this. Oh, shit. Come on, get up, 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 get up. Oh, so I have to toss it up each ledge, I see. Toss it up. There we go. Once you get to the exit, take it, take it to the wooden ramp and walk it all the way to the exit of Goron Village. Okay, okay, I got it. Gotcha. Oh, thank you for the hug, Hannah. Thank you so much. I was just, I just replied to him saying, oh, come on. Good response. Good response, kid. Yes, just no longer needed stuff that would have been sent to, oh, I see, because it would have been sent to recycle. Okay, so there's something here. Ignore the wolfos. Oh, there's a boulder up there. I see it. I definitely see it. Get out of my way, Wolfos. So we just gotta take it up here. There we go. And put it here. Okay. Once you get to the other side, be a Ryan toss the leg of the edge. Ledges roll a bit. Blah, blah, blah. As you, at the top of the Goron, you with the giant boulder blocking the Goron racetrack. Set the power connect to the boulder and wait for the fireworks. Once it explodes, the Goron Elder Sun will run in excitedly. Sounds like mine. Don't you hate it when you feel like there's something in your mouth? Yes, just no longer needed to. Oh, yeah, I just had that sobbing. You totally have my de recent, recent drawing. I'm a. Oh my god, I love that. Yahoo! Way to 
Way to go. Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Voorhees. Welcome into the stream. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate that. Cringy dab. Whoa, boom. Way to go, Darmy. That was cool. What is that? Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. Oh, yeah. We're all about the cringe here. Oh, my God. Hmm, there we go. Fuck. Yes, welcome to the fam. Okay, so now we made it to the Goron Racetrack. Enter the powder keg shop and speak with Meta Goron again. He'll po oh, so we gotta go back, so we can't do that yet. He'll apologize for giving you such a dangerous test to certify you, allowing you to purchase powder kegs. As a token of goodwill, he'll give you another one for free. Oh, yay! Oh, fuck. Pee pee poo poo. Hello there, Clash This. Welcome in. Hello. Uh, pee pee poo poo back to you. How you doing? Someone was replied to that picture once saying it defended. Yes! And I know exactly who did. But of course, we're not going to talk about them. I was like, bruh, do you have a sense of humor? I, I was like, is that cow? Because <laughs> I was like, wait, 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 wait. Because cow says that a lot. Is that cow? Yeah, I, that's what I thought too, Tristan. That has to be some for cows people because they say pee pee poo poo a lot. So, cow, what's going on, dude? How you doing? It's all kids and shit. What do you want for dinner? A Berber. I said it right that time. Berber burger. Yeah, you know who it is now? I'm awesome. Yeah, you got it right. Because I thought in my mind, is it Cal's crew? But I didn't want to be like, are you Cal? Because I hate asking those questions and then you're wrong and it's super awkward. Just making dinner, making homemade fries in the air fryer, and gonna have a sandwich too. <sighs> air fryers are wonderful, bruh. Oh shit, I gotta be a Goron. I forgot. There we go. Okay, so now we got a powder keg. We got a free one. This is supposed to that test. Cal, did you see Goose's message on his Discord? He had to change his B-Day stream because of storms. Do you still want to get on and play Faz? Oh yeah, that's true. What kind of fries is it? <laughs> Season. Ooh. Now, Jim is certified. Return to the Goron Racetrack on the road to Goron Village. It must be spring, which it is, or they're not. Whatever. Speak with the Goron Elder Son to start the race. It's a rather difficult mini game, and in some ways, it's a little hard to predict what will happen. If you know what you're doing, however, this game is pretty simple, and your opponents will get stupid and slow if you slow down yourself or get knocked down. So don't worry too much about how fast you go. It takes several tries, so don't feel bad if you don't make it the first ten times. You get hit. Get hit while I'm blinking. You stop rolling. There are two plays after this. Avoid other Gorons at all costs or run into them. So it's like a race. This game will use up a lot of your magic, so it's recommended that you have the magic meter upgraded, which we do. Majora's Mask is underrated, also pretty difficult. Welcome in, Crossover. Hello. Yes, you are right. Majora's Mask is, is underrated, and it's one of the harder Majora's... It's one of the harder Zelda games, definitely. Okay, so it's giving me strategies of what to do. When you finally come in first, you'll receive a new bottle with some gold dust, which is used for the sword upgrade. Aha! <laughs> Thank you, Tracy, for shouting out Cal's alternate account. Love the ones that are more challenging. Oh, yeah, like the original Legend of Zelda. I actually loved the original. Ah, uh, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? You're going to enter. Okay, yeah. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, charge up with the green jars of the course. Okay, so we don't have to pay rupees. Thank God. Okay, so there's four other Gorons we're racing. Oh, I can't. Oh, I did a false start. <laughs> Oh, 
Speed up! We need the power! Okay, so we're about to make a turn here. Oh, ow, motherfuckers. So our goal is to try to, like, cut corners and get a fucking... Oh my god. Well then. Come on, we need some power. Get away from me! Shit. Okay, there we go. God, I'm trying to like stay on the side. I stop like running into me, bro. W worry about yourself, bro. How come you're faster than me? Fuck off. There's one way up here. Oh my god. Did I just do that first try? Haha, <laughs> I did it first try! Let's get it! The, the guy was like, this may take several tries, but we get it first try, let's fucking go. Okay, I'm probably missing a lot in chat. Um, top three favorite Zelda game, yes. I'm putting up for a top <laughs> Well, bye, kid. <laughs> Please take me back. Then you better get his like, yes. Yes. Aquary of Time and then Twilight Princess. Yes, my three favorites are um, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Aquary of Time. Yeah, crossover on the same page. Yes, Twilight Princess, the OG, and Majora's Mask. Three great ones, definitely. Something I don't understand about myself is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now, I'm under a blanket. That's me, too. Even when it's winter outside, like, ridiculously cold, I still have my fan on in my room. You get one year, kid. One year. Ask for a Zelda game for Christmas or some shit. If you don't play one within a year, adoption is for you, then it will be an only child. Woo! <laughs> Okay, next you can go upgrade your sword again. Sword back to Mountain Village if you had them working on your Kokiri Star as directed earlier. Play a song of double time to make it the second day. Okay, so let's leave. I'm okay with being an only child! <laughs> Ooh, piano. Piano, yes. Okay, Tracy, what would you like? Okay, wait. I can just exit here. Dear Santa, please give me Breath of the Wild or I'm disowned. Sincerely, kid. No, 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 no. I, well, listen, I feel like Breath of the Wild is too easy of a Zelda game. I, kid, you should get Ocarina of Time. That's the Zelda game I think you should get. Either Ocarina or Twilight Princess. One of those two. I don't think you should start with the original or Majora's Mask because they're harder. But I definitely recommend Ocarina or Twilight. Because everyone plays Breath of the Wild. Fan of the opera? Absolutely. Absolutely. I still haven't played Twilight Princess and I want to so bad. Cal, I'm telling you, it's... There's a reason why. It's probably my number one favorite. It's after Majora's Mask for a Zelda Marathon. I'm so excited! But not really because it's the anti-hero mode run. You'll know, you'll know what that is, chat, very soon. It's so good. Yeah, see, Tracy knows. Okay, let me go ahead. Well, let me get the music set up first. So you don't have to see my dumb beat. Okay. So we're playing Family Opera. So Tracy, are you talking about like the theme for the opera or a song from the Family Opera? Ooh, no, not think of me. The theme song, okay. That's on page, where is it? Okay, I need to get back to painting. Adios fuck is good, good luck. Hannah with the painting. Come on, where the... Oh, here it is. Okay. 22. So, y'all, this piece I'm about to play is the theme, the main theme of Phantom of the Opera. I remember playing this one time. 
So, um, it's fast, but I'm gonna try and play it um, to the best of my ability. All right. I think that's good right there, actually. <coughs> okay. I think that's good. You got this? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we can do it, we can do it for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it, this is, okay, here we go. Enjoy, chat. trainer and I came to challenge the gym leader. Enjoyed watching with everybody so much. It's been so fun. I, I'm this. This is not fun. <laughs> Fucking absolute dread. No. Oh, oh, you. Come on. Oh my god, did I just glitched in here? Oh my god, I'm glitched! I hope I did that correctly. <laughs> Dude! Okay, wait! I am wait. glitched! Wait, wait, I can't wait, get wait, out wait, of wait, here. wait, wait, did we just get raided? Whoa, no. whoa, 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 hold on! I Why? see two raids in no. the chat. Yo, me. did we just get raided by it Mikey works. Blige and by Craze? Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, you guys came in. I was playing <laughs> the opera. Trace, I'm glad it was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, welcome in, Raiders. 
Craze and Mikey. Thank you for the raids. I'm so fortunate and blessed to receive these raids. And Lex, you absolute sweetheart. Thank you for those eight bits. Can we get a shout out? To I'm pretty sure there's already shout outs happening. I trust my mods shouted you guys out, rightfully so. Craze came in at just the right time, like just after you started. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was I was doing a piano redeem. I need my blanket. You guys are so sweet. Welcome in. I came into some beautiful music. Perfect. Oh, Mikey, you're so kind. Thank you. How are your streams, guys? Where are you streaming? I need to check up here and see what, what happened. Okay, here's Craze. Craze was playing Spire of the Dragon. Nice. Hope that went well. And then Mikey was playing um, some... I'm going to help with this, right? Ven Venatura? Ven Ven I, oh, I don't know how to say that. Yes, Trace is on top of the shallots. You know what, Trace? That's a second cookie for you. That's a second cookie. Hi, Mon. How's it going? Stream was good. Played some Spiral. It was fun. Nice. I'm glad it was fun. Uh, my goodness. Crazy Mikey. Uh, you, you gentlemen are so kind with these raids. Yay, cookies. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> Trace is singing along. So, to Crazed and Mikey's crew, welcome in. <coughs> Excuse me. To the Mauled Mallard stream. My name is the Mauled Mallard. I go by Mauled. My real name is Cole. Uh, whichever name you want to call me is fine by me. I usually go by Cole because that is my real name. She was fun as heck. Venator is an RPG maker game. Super great story and amazingly well made. Though it was time to swing on by and say hi. <sighs> you are so sweet. I hope... I hope it was fun. It seemed like it was a fun stream. And thank you for the raid again, Mikey. So, guys, I'm a huge um, Nintendo streamer. I stream all things Mario, Pokemon, and Zelda, those types of games. We're currently on game 10 of our Zelda marathon, which is Majora's Mask. We're doing a 100% run right now. We're getting our sword upgraded. I'm also a variety PC streamer. Uh, horror games, Steam games, PC games. I'm a variety streamer, kind of like a box of chocolates. You know what you're going to get out of me because I am crazy. I'm quirky, I'm weird, and it convinces my lovely Maud family to come back and watch me on screen. Um, I am blessed and fortunate to have such a wonderful community. Um, the Maud family, we're nothing, we're, it's nothing but love here. Um, we're dysfunctional, we're, we're a bit chaotic, um, but it's all, um, it's all love here. So, and the chat's saying, intro, show the intro, Cole. So, and thank you, kid, for posting the Discord link in the chat for any of our new members who are in here right now. I know what you guys are probably thinking. What is it like to be in a Mald Mauer stream? I'm glad you asked. Let me regale you the tale of the Mald Mauer streams with this video. Bitch is dead. <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> I don't want your cookies. Back, back. Oh, wait, wait, what, what, what? What's this? What's this? Blue, blue, blue. Oh my god! Ah! No, no. This thing is behind us. <laughs> For some of you, that was the first time ever that you've seen that intro video. That intro video was made by Teleported Bread for three days. He is my editor. He did a fabulous job making that intro. We are so... We're just so amazed by his work, and we're definitely looking forward to more from him as well. Thank you, Craze. Thank you, Mikey. And he's out. It's pretty good. It's so good. Yeah, the back rooms. There was one stream I did where I was watching a whole bunch of um, horror films that... One of my mods, Ninja, recommended me to watch. It was mostly back rooms, and those scared the shit out of me. And here's the thing, like, here's the thing, chat. Like, even when I know a jump scare is coming, it still scares me, which is why I do play horror games on Sundays. Um, this last Sunday, we finished Outlast. And um, this ne this coming Sunday, we'll be doing um, FNAF 2, Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, since we completed the first one. Because my chat's been dying for me to, to just go through all the Final Fantasy Freddy's games I'm not looking forward to 4. Cole, we, we gotta, we gotta, yeah, we got, we got, okay. 
Play Demonologist with Snipe and I. How was that game? How was Demonologist? I know, Tracy's been like, basically dragging me on my feet trying to get me to play Faz. Um, Tracy, would you think, would you think Demonologist is more, the update came out today, like the update for Faz came out today? You like it? Okay. The update for Faz came out, so there's probably like new maps and new ghosts and shit probably. Faz is more popular, I find, I find Demonologist more scary. Okay. Okay, so Demonologist is more scary. But anyways, um, again, Mikey, Blige, and Craze the Derp one. Thank you guys again for those raids. Lex, if you're still in chat, thank you for those um, apis. Did Lex get a shout out, by the way? Jedi Chick Lex. Um, how are we doing, guys? Welcome in. We're, we're, glad you're, we, we're glad you all are here. I'm supposed to be streaming it. Faz is better, but Demonologist can be as good as if they make more content in it. Okay, so there's... So Faz definitely has more content. Okay. Gotcha. So. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta make it. Um, let's go back to Mountain Village and we gotta um, advance to the second day. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. This way. It's still new, so they have lots of room for improvements. I will say I do miss the forest. That game was actually pretty fun. Because I remember, what was it? It was like, me, Tracy, Cal, Token, Nicole. We'll go back to it sometime. And that's where Titty Bitch, the word, the phrase Titty Bitch was invented. I only play horror games with friends by myself. I regret every choice I make. That's why I play horror games by myself. Because it's more, you know, you get a better reaction on me. Because I'm not with anybody. I'm alone. Yes, and Buttman too. How's Buttman been, Tracy? I've seen him streaming recently. Um. Okay, that was right. That was right. Do 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 do. He's been coming to my streams again. Good. Very good. Go down so I can see mine. All right, let's play it one more time so we can advance to second day so we can get our sword. That's not what I want to do. I do not know what I'm doing. Because they're currently working on my razor sword. Boo 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 do 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 do. Okay, so now it's dawn of the second day, so we can now go back into the house and get our sword back. Oh, see the. The fire coming out of the chimney. Man, they're doing some work on my sword, bruh. I'm here to accept my sword, please. I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? So, our Kokiri sword has been strengthened and forged into a razor sword. This new sharper blade is a cut above the rest, but if we use it 100 times, it'll return back to a Kokiri sword. Now, keep in mind that after... Yeah, we know. Ugo, Ugo, Ugo. Well, I do have gold dust, actually. Wait. Then speak with them again. Ugo, 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 Ugo. Oh, a customer. You already said that. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey, no, that's a mean joke. Your sword's already been reforged to a razor sword. Unless, do you want to make your sword stronger? To do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? I do. Wait, I have to. There we go. I have gold dust. Why, if it isn't gold dust and it's even top quality? Why, even I used to reforge your sword. Even if I use it, there'd still be some left. All right, just for you, I'll do this for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. <laughs> for real, ooga booga. Go outside and play the song of the time until it's the final day. Kid, I have no idea. It's it's so weird. I have no idea. I have no idea. 
Pities, are you here? Uh, Pities, Shelb, Shelby, are you still in chat? You are being summoned by Tracy. Do. I like how both the rates had six viewers too. That's pretty cool. All right, now it's dawn of the final day. So now our sword should now be the gilded sword. Well, this thing doesn't look as cool as the razor sword. It still does double damage and has even further range and it will not break. Hell yeah. You think she died? I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? Your razor sword has been strengthened. Now it's the gilded sword. Newly forged, your sword is better than ever and will never break. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I used most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Go, 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 go. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for the sword. Peace out. That's it for now, folks. Put your remaining rupees in the bank and call it a third night. Okay, that was a bad. Oh, wow, wow. Wow. Oh my. God. Yo! Yo, Tracy with a tier three sub. They subscribed for 15 months and they're currently on a 14 month streak. Tracy, thank you so much for that. Pity, thank you for shouting her out. Y'all. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like how I, I just played that. <laughs> and then it goes, oh. <laughs> Honestly, Tracy, you're a pretty good singer. You can hit those opera notes. We got our guild sword, now we gotta go. We gotta save. Okay. So this next op Romani Ranch, oh no, is it the fucking aliens? Bruh, I can't do the aliens. The aliens freak me out. Your next destination is Great Bay to the West. Before you even go there, however, you're going to need to have a reunion with an old friend of yours. Your first task is to run around and gather 50 rupees. Either collect some turn or fill or just pull out the bank. There's two silver rupees you can get at Clock Town at the moment as well. The first one's in the waterway under Clock Town at least two. Oh, okay. <coughs> the Aslians, yes, kid, the Aslians. So is this still, is still the ghost sword? Sure enough, it is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Song. Inverted Song of Time, always first. Aldo, how are you doing? Welcome to stream. I'm so excited you're here. How you doing? All right, so now what we need to do is pull 50 rupees out of the bank. Do, 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 do. Give me my rupees. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't have any to deposit. I meant to click withdraw. I meant to click withdraw. Withdraw. In fact, no, I can get no, I can get rubies from no no no. I never mind. I shouldn't even be here. I'm sorry. Sorry I wasted your time. Cause we gotta go to the sewers, cause there's a hundred rubies in there we can get. Let's go there. Alrighty. Here. Pities, I'm working on some stuff. So you got mod duties now? Ooh, passing mod duties over to Pities. Oh, snap. Okay, what was the code? 41352? 41352. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Take a left as soon as you enter and blow up the wall with a bomb or the blast mask. Here. Watch out for the Sculptula. Oh, here. 
I'm cooking spaghetti and seasoned french fries. I had spaghetti for dinner tonight. Look at us, pities twinsies. There we go. Chest. Excellent. Easy 100 rupees. This is a good sad meal, honestly. It really is. I feel like Italian food's meant for, like, depression. Because <laughs> it always makes me happy when I eat Italian food. Spaghetti, fettuccine, rigatoni, ravioli, lasagna, any of that shit is just top tier. So the second silver rupee is over here. There we go. Hop over here. There we go. My mom's Alfredo is one of the best I've had. I bet your mom's a great cook, kid. Silver Loopy. Go to West Clock Town and enter the bomb shop. Now that you've been certified by the Kyra Confection of Magoran Village, you can wear the Goron mask and purchase powder cakes from the Goron here. Oh, really? Even with time? For some reason, he offers them for a cheaper price than Metagoron, who makes the darn things. Oh, okay. Okay, um, so West Clock Town, go to the bomb shop. So we gotta be a Goron. There we go. Which one's the bomb shop? Nope, not that one. It's the, this is the last one up here. Yep, that's the bomb, it's this one. It's just one. You sell powder kegs? Yes. Um, put your remaining rubies in the bank after purchasing the powder keg because you won't be needing them for a while. Okay. So we just got some extra rubies for the bank because we need to save up to 5,000 fucking rupees, bro. 5,000 rupees. Ridiculous. I'll deposit this time. One, five, zero. So it kind of increases our amount a bit. Oh, blue rupee. Might as well deposit that too. I love the banker. Well, not love. It's kind of weird that the banker like pats his knees like that. Like, why? Why do you do that? If you activate the owl statue, milk road soar over there. Okay. If not, la 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 la. Milk road, there it is. At the end of the area is one of Mudo's carpenters picking away at a boulder. Use the Goron mask to lay down the powder keg, then shoot an arrow with it if you're impatient. And then enter. Oh, so we can blow up the boulder with the powder keg. And we don't have to wait till the final day. That's good. There we go. And we just put the, the keg here. And then we can use an uh, arrow to shoot it. I just need arrows. I just need arrows. Oh. It blew up already. Okay, never mind. Alright, enter Romani Ranch because we do need Ep Epona to get into Great Bay. If you don't have the bunny hood yet, it's highly recommended you get it now. We have it. Run towards the bone's head and once you get close, you'll what is the joyous seeing in which Link will see his trusty seed, Epona, who is still alive. Speak of a little girl who scuttles around like a character from Peanuts. Here applies one of the strangest predicaments in Zelda history. Every year, Aslians, aliens, come and abduct the cows where Romani plans to stop them. She asks you to help her friend off the file, fiend, fend off the file fiends, but she wants you to practice with her first. But I have no arrows. Okay, so I woke up again, so... <laughs> 
I'm good, Mark. How are you? How was your sleep? How was it? Isn't that your horse? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be my horse? So we need to talk to you. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Mauled. Mauled? That's a nice name, but how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. Okay. See, you're wearing green clothes and you patter around when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight, they are coming. Y'all, this is fucking creepy. I know, right? Why ask for your fucking name then? They, they come at night. Every year when the carnival approaches. These bastards. They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. I'm okay, today went better than yesterday. Also, I think your camera's out of focus. It probably is. Yep, it is, just a, it is just a bit. And then, they come to the barn. Oh yes, the when the planets align shit, yep. My little sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Oh, kid, what you playing? Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Protect the cows! I saw the note. Kid, what are you streaming? Oh, are you, are you talking about it on the on the Switch? Well, let's see. Let's see. Brawlhalla? Nice. Are you ready? I have the proof. Okay, so we have to go around and shoot all these balloons. Okay. I've gotten so much better with the bow from those fucking mini games, so. Ooh. Oh, I fucking missed one. Fuck. Nani? Son of a bitch. Yo, cow over here with a hundred bits. Calls on my uh, Busted. I forgot what me looks like that. Yo, cow, thank you for the hundred bits. Can we give a shout out for cow, please? Pee pee poo poo, I tell ya. Yeah, yeah, pee pee poo poo. Pee pee, pee pee poo poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I fucking missed a... There we go. And the last two over here. Oh, I love on the map, it shows white squares, like, showing us where they are. That's great. That's excellent. Now, we're gonna hit the mushroom. Watch, we're gonna hit the mushroom, get full health. 100%, here we go, ready? Fuck! There we go. Hold you, dude. 100%, let's Okay, go. you're done. Damn it, Tracy, my phone is sideways, so it's hard to tie. <laughs> Sorry, Pities, I saw you were cooking and didn't realize I stopped my scroll from now on. It's all you. <laughs> no worries at all. One minute, one second. That's great. You two work perfectly together. Take this. Take it. Take it. No, no. Get, no. Get this. And take the fruit. Get, 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 get. I'll teach no. Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. That, now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. The horse seems like this song. <laughs> Epona yeah, song. If you can successfully complete the game, I will congratulate you with Epona song. Dude, I debated you so hard. <laughs> do, 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 do. One of the 
one of the trickier objectives in the game is to get 5,000 rupees in the bank in order to receive a piece of heart. Since you should have about 6 to 12 hours until your alien da slaying date with Romani, there are a few different options to grind for rupees. It is Epona's song, the song of two who are bound by trust. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep fending them off until then. Fending them off. Did you get that? The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. God, the aliens are so fucking creepy. So now I got Epona song, so we can call her now. Okay, so we can collect some rupees now for the time being. On the road to Southern Swamp. <laughs> In order to the Dodongos and the Takuri. You could lose a bottle or even your sword. Okay. In the eight-ish hours you have to burn, you can easily make a ton of money. Doesn't that feel good? Don't worry about collecting more just yet, unless you really want to. Y'all are coming with me while y'all are coming with me while I feed the bugs. I regret letting into my home. Bro, I used to sleep to that first music man, the calm one. Ah, no! Fuck you, Takuri. Don't try to attack me when I'm trying to talk with my chat. I remember this thing being a little easy if you just keep jump attacking it. Crap. Shit. I thought I could, like, catch up with it. But as soon as I got the Gilded Sword, the Takuri will take less time to kill. See? Silly, isn't that was. Boom, 200 rupees right there. Now I gotta go back to Clock Town, deposit our rupees and shit. <laughs> this game can be really hard, especially new to the game. Use your minimap white dog to the aliens. Will dog wants the closest alien and bark at it. Oh, we can slow the aliens with the inverted song of time, bruh. There are more arrows in the grass, and they also disappear after defeating each alien. Oh, one more thing don't use Epona. Honestly, I want to go straight to the aliens. Oh, please, the princess should be working hard to impress, not the other way around. You absolutely. <laughs> New handsome is here. Welcome to stream. How are you today? Welcome, welcome in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now, we're just collecting rupees, waiting for time to kind of go on. I am well. How goes your stream? How are you? Stream's going really well. It's going really well. We're taking care of some side quests. We're kind of gathering some rupees because we've got to get fucking a thousand, not thousand, five thousand rupees. Have a popcorn? Yes. Eat the popcorn new. Um. No, 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 no. There we go. Hey, Cole. Yes, kid. Hi. Do, 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 do. Yo, Kid 
redeem the me channel point redeem. So now I gotta make kid a, a me and crow. Crow and kid. Congratulations, kid. So kid just said, well, I kind of know what you look like. So I'll try to make a me, but send me a picture of what you want your me to look like. So I just have someone to reference, you know. I'm gonna send my me. Oh yeah, or you can just make the me yourself. And send to me and I'll try and copy it. <laughs> okay, we need to go let's go this way. Okay, dude, I have a sword. You're you're an idiot. Okay, let's go back to the bird. Yeah, this bird thing is, in my opinion, the easiest way to get rupees. Oh, I see you. My ball just got stolen? You fucking bitch. Well, shit. Now I gotta go buy it back from the fucking curiosity shop. Or where was it again? There's gonna be specific adjustments, but I'll send them. Whatever you want your meat to look like. So how much is my empty bottle gonna cost? That motherfucker. I try to look back and see target, but it fucking hit me. Yeah, Mark, what a what a piece of shit. So now I gotta go back and buy it. Wait, no, not there. It's the first. It's the first one, I think, because that's the that's the general shop. It's the first one. Open at 10 p.m. Well, fuck the rupee grinding. We'll we'll handle, we'll handle the rupee grinding later. Fuck. Sense. Thank you, kid. So now I gotta deposit some rubies. <laughs> All right. Fuck this game. Not gonna wait till ten o'clock. Isn't that what it said? Fuck my game. What's up, Nicole? What you playing today? What you playing? Is it Baldur's Gate 3? I knew it. Baldur's Gate 3, I knew it. Thank you, Trace, for the lurk. Appreciate it. How about you lurk is love? Okay, Tom, I'm gonna need you to speed up, please. I'm gonna need you to speed up. Because we gotta be at the Curious Shop at 10, then the Ranch at 2. Isn't that right? Oh, we do need some arrows. Let's go to some bushes and like get some arrows. The fucking disc puzzle in this temple. Ooh, it's a hard puzzle. Seems like it. Arrows, please. I got no rupees. Oh, oh, I, I got some arrows. I meant rupees. What's the puzzle like? Okay, but what is Great Bay? Um, I don't know what's after the alien puzzle. I think we have some piece of heart and mass to get. But we'll definitely make it to Great Bay by 
at least next stream of this game. Because I'm not looking forward to Great Bay. Not at all. Can I just get a few more arrows, please? Yes, perfect. Okay. So now... To the curiosity shop. Because it's almost 10. Because my fucking bottle was stolen. By the damn Takuri. Bird piece of shit. There we go. Let me in. Oh. Oh, 20 rupees. Okay. No, I don't I don't want to sell you anything. Get out get on my face. Bye. <coughs> to Romani Ranch. Do 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 I'm sorry. Sometimes I get carried away with my singing. Fuck it, I'm gonna do a pacifist run. What you playing, Undertale or well you were playing Brawlhall earlier. So what made you think, Bat Cole, can you bring me a Sonic Oreo Blast? Yo, that sounds great. Next time I come over, I'm, I'm going to bring you a Sonic Blast because you bought me a Sonic Blast last time. So next time I come over, I'm going to bring you a Sonic Blast. Bring one too. You want one too? Fuck you, Flowey. <laughs> what did Flowey do to you? Okay, so apparently the aliens are easier to kill when the inverted song of time is played but i'm gonna wait so i have to wait for the aliens to come at two in the at two in the goddamn morning cold the best thing oh you're too kind mark oh i don't know that's true form flowey can you not beat true form flowey in like regular form in, in the regular route like omega flowey or what's it called photoshop flowey omega flowey no, I'm just saying he's a bitch. No, he is. He is. You're not wrong. Okay, so use your mini map and stay near the barn. If any alien gets near this barn chat and gets in there, we're fucked. So I'm gonna create a spend point. Just in case shit goes south, y'all. Just in case shit goes south. We have about an hour and a half to to chill here before the aliens come. Goomther, how you doing? Welcome to stream. What is up? We're about to fight some aliens. He called me brain dead. He calls everyone brain dead. He insults everyone, kid, including me. Guys, this mini game's scary. I don't want to do this. I'm not. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna play the inverse long of time once the aliens come in. Because apparently it slows them down. It takes it longer to get to 5.15 in the morning, but I don't fucking care. Oh my god, they're coming in 40 minutes. They're coming in 40 minutes! They're coming in 40 minutes! Oh my god! Oh my god! 30 minutes! Oh no! Oh, oh. Goat mom has arrived. I could use goat mom right now. It makes it easier if it's slower. I did it regular time because I'm hardcore, I guess. Ah. Uh. No, we're, we're doing. We're fucking doing. Okay, this is probably a good time to do it now. Um. Um, shit. There we go. Slow it down, please. Slow it down, please. Okay, now quickly do this. Suspend point. There you go. 
Okay, so apparently using Epona is makes the mini game harder, or not the mini game, but makes this harder. And focus on the white dots that are heading towards the barn, because those are the aliens. Oh my God, they're coming in five minutes! I forgot I can't run an show. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Here they come! Oh, there's Romani. Look at her frown. Look at her fucking frown, bruh. Oh, did they come at three instead of two? Uh, Romani? What? Do I have to talk to her? What the fuck? Hello? Why aren't you saying shit? There we go. It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay, what happens? Do not let them get into the barn. They'll come from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates of them near the house, so stock them when you need to. Okay, so I guess they show up at three, not two. Okay, where are you, bitches? Come at me, bro. I'm ready for ya. I'm fucking ready for ya. You've got no match for these guns. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared now. Oh, my fucking God. How do I fucking miss you? So only focus on the ones that are coming towards the barn. You're getting too close. God, it really makes them slow. Did this, this white square over here makes it look like it's a fucking... Look at what you've done. Yeah, look what you fucking did, kid. Oh my god. God, there's so many of them. You're way too fucking close. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there's one in the back. There's one in the fucking back. Motherfucker. Thank you, Gunther. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm back once again. If you have any dinner, then I would like to offer you a, a serving of a coffee pasta. Babe, I'm breaking up with you. It's not you. You're poggers. It's me. I'm Omega Lol. I'm sorry if this is Peppa Hands, but it has to be done. I've just been feeling Pepega, and our relationship has been weird champ for months. It's time to end it, no Kappa. All of ours your day! Welcome to stream. We're fighting some aliens. Or, as Hannah says it, the Aslians. Someone please tell Hannah we're fighting Aslians. <laughs> okay, only look at the ones who are... Which uh, Explorers players would recognize as a map from uh, Explorers, uh, the Explorers game. You're getting too close. Mm -hmm. Basically, Brother. Rubble is like leading the charge. Thank you for shouting out Oliver, whoever was that. Neck and neck. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Hold on, he's gonna hurry. He's oh, I'm in a hurry. There's fucking aliens scent. everywhere, bro. You, know exactly you see this shit? Yeah, but there is water around, so he may lose the scent. Oh, hell no. You're not getting near my fucking barn. 
You're not getting my fucking barn. Okay, so far we're doing okay. Oh. Oh, that was... Wait. It says you shot it out. Oh, well. Oh, God. Not the Frick Redeem. Not the Frick Redeem. Oh, shit. Well, guys, guess what? This has replaced the Gurgle ASMR. I get to yell Frick as loud as I can. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready in three, two... One. Frick! You're dead. Okay, listen. Y'all getting way too close. You're getting way too fucking close, bro. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 I need more arrows. Link, you fucking idiot. I want to do that too. <laughs> the whirlwind, what is that? Yep, that's the Frick Redeem. Okay, where's the dog? Who's the dog barking at? Oh, the one back here? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's 4 a.m. We're almost there. We're almost there. I want to do that too. It's really good to venture anger. Miranda making sure you're okay. <laughs> Miranda's gonna knock my fucking door, bruh. She's gonna be like, hey dude, hey dude, you okay? You okay? Heard, heard that scream. Came from the depths of hell. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Because they're, they're really slow because I played the Ember Song of Time. Because fuck this. During regular time. Earphone warning. Thank you, Oliver, for the fucking clip. Yeah, they just keep respawning. Oh, come on. Okay, this one over here to the left needs to calm down. I'm still <laughs> wheezing. Agreed. On his birthday, we should at least do two. The painting's completed! Yes, Hannah! Yes! That was the best one yet. Yeah, I, I really just let loose on that one, okay? I really did. I really did, chat. Motherfucker! Is the one back there trying to fuck with us? Yep. Okay, I'm killing this one first. Son of a bitch! There's just no way you're getting back here, okay? There's just there's just no way. Oh no 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 bunch of no 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 I'm focusing chat. We're almost done, it's 5 a.m. Just one more hour. One more fucking hour. How many do they have to keep to have to get rid of? They keep spawning until about 5.15 or 6 a.m. and then they just disappear and we win. Pretty much. Like that! We did it! <laughs> get your asses out of my ranch. We did it! We did it. We won. Thanks you thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. Ah, the third empty ball of the game. Oh, hello. Um, hello. I'm currently 16 years old and I want to become a walrus. I know there's a million people out there just like me, but I promise you I'm different. On December 14th, I'm moving to Antarctica, home with the greatest walruses. I've already cut off my arms and now I slide on my stomach everywhere I go as training. I may not be a walrus yet. But I promise you, if you give me a chance and the support I need, I'll become the greatest walrus ever. 
It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later. Little hero. Thank God that's over with. So that is now our third empty bottle. <coughs> you can go inside and speak to her sister, Kremia. At this point... But it's not letting me in. Brush source is offline, bruh. Wait, where the fuck is she? Do I have to wait till 6 a.m.? Bruh. What if I kill Toro right here, right? Do you want to do genocide? Cole will call you a dick? Hell no. Well, it's Toriel, though. It's Toriel. God, I remember doing the genocide route on street, bruh. God. Uh-oh. The screen's getting... The screen's getting closer. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Because apparently we can go into the barn now. So there's Kremia. Oh my, hello. Ramaya's going to take our milk to Clocktown too. You're looking after the place. The cows will be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about six o'clock this evening so you can join me if you like. Okay. House line place time to take it the second night. Speak with Kremio who's weighing on the wagon and I'm about to make a delivery to Clock Town. Hey, Fortniters. John would need your help to escape Tilted to Towers. The only way they can do that is with your credit card number, the three numbers on the back, and the expiration month and year. Hurry. It's not long before he gets wrecked by Epic Gamers. You're bringing a lot of old what? Old copy pastas to the plate. All right, Kremia. Thank you, Mark, for the posture tech. These are classics, man. About almost two years old. Damn, they're that old. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? You have to protect the wagon from bandits. An alien invasion is typically followed by milk raiders, is it not? Oh, we have to, we have to, we have to shoot the bandits. That's right. Ooh, piano. Why the fuck do I suck at dodging? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Get Chopin Nocturne B flat minor. Absolutely. So y'all, we have a special treat coming your way. Puano. That's right, Pace. We got some Puano coming our way. It's time for some Chopin. Let me go ahead and get that out. So y'all, this Nocturne is one of Chopin's most famous ones. Nocturne in B-flat minor. Let me go ahead and get it out real quick. There it is. This, this is one of my favorite pieces by Chopin as well. Oliver, thanks again for that piano redeem. Okay. Excellent. I got a job recently at a church and I played this piece at the interview. <gasps> oh, yay! That's right. This is a, this is for Oliver, y'all. This is for Oliver right here with his job searching. The dumpy, that's right. Okay, here we go. This is for Oliver.
Had a little bit of a hiccup there at the end, but isn't, isn't that piece just so gorgeous, y'all? What a piece. Oh yeah, Cal, 100%. Chopin is just a beast of a piano composer. For sure, for sure. Thank you, kid. Thank you, Tracy, Oliver, Pities. Thank you all for the very kind compliments. Yeah, it's it's just such a, it, it's, it's a good piece. It's, it's so beautiful. You know, because nocturnes are pieces that are, are supposed to depict the nighttime. Cole's Papyrus and his fucking, yeah. You can't not love Papyrus though. You can't not love Papyrus. Yeah. Okay. So apparently we have to help Crimea and these fucking bandits after a fucking alien invasion. Aim at whichever ugly donkey riding thief you wish and shoot them with your bow to prevent them from attacking the jars of milk. If they hit each jar twice, it'll break. It's incredibly easy. You can just rapidly, rapidly press the B button to shoot like crazy. In fact, the only way you can lose is if you ever manage to hit them at all. Since it's only at the very end that they break all the jars. If with a circus or your mask, the bands will not assault the wet wagon. Fortunately, you cannot acquire the circus until after you get the Remise mask, which is your reward for playing this quest. Okay, all right. My favorite is Alfie's. Yeah, he's a bad cook, though. Yeah. All right, so apparently we're going to get attacked by bandits. We just have to keep spamming B until they die. Do, do, do. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled. I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. It's the Aslians. He cooks frozen spaghetti. Cooks. Say, what are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before. Yeah, because it's about to come crushing down and kill us. In town, I have a friend. His name is Andrew. Andrew, the day after tomorrow is, her, is our wedding. Oh. Or oh, it's her wedding. A wonderful fall. That thing. Now that's like, that's really fucking close. Is this where the fucking bandits attack us? What? The road. Boy, get your bow ready. Why does the moon have a face though? Because. Because this game likes to be creepy. Because that's Majora's Mask for ya. Okay, they're gonna show up soon. First, Mokro is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Here come the bandits. Are you ready, boy? I'm gonna try to get us through here as, as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Yes. Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Oh, there they are. They're just spam B. Get away from my fucking milk. I've got unlimited arrows, bitches. Why are you getting so fucking close? Yeah, you're getting way too fucking close, bro. Get the fuck away from my milk, you piece of shit. Nope. So I guess when they get to the side, just ignore them. Just go for the one that's charging straight for the milk. Oh. Do you understand? No. No. Hooray! Superb! Yay! Thank you, Gunther. You're in a battle? Ooh, good luck. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. 
This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Romani's mask. Where we see to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Woohoo! We're an adult now, chap. She calling us a cow? No. She's calling us an adult. So that's all for now. We can put our remaining rupees in the bank and play the Song of Time. We do have one thing left to do before heading to Great Bay, and that's going to the Akana Graveyard. Because there's some side quests there that we can do as well. Um, I need to go put my rupees in the bank. But we got a cow mask. Well, yeah, because you have to wear the cow mask to gain access into the milk bar, the VIP section, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go put our 49 rupees in the bank. See, Cal, Cal had access since day one. I mean, just his name is fucking Cal. So he had access before this game was even made. I'm jealous. Kid, don't you want to be a member? Don't you want to be a member? A VIP member of the milk bar? Boo. <laughs> Are you not aware of my accomplishments? Alright, song of time. <laughs> Haley is the cleanest woman I've ever met. What? She's obsessed with me? Please explain. Is she with you right now? Tell her to come and chat. By the way, Maul, thought you know, I it won't be anytime soon, but I may return <gasps> to streaming Gunther. What are you gonna stream, my dude? Yes. Yes, what you gonna stream? Inverse on time. No. There we go. Do 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 do. I'm like the cringiest singer ever. This bitch called me just to tell me she misses me. And she would have come over, but she's tired. But Hannah, don't you... So she's coming over tomorrow. But Hannah, don't you do the same thing, though? Like you tell me, Cole, I miss my mom. I'm gonna go call my mom. I miss Haley. I'm gonna go over to Haley's. Don't know yet, but I'll be revamping some things. What you mean? I feel like you all do the same thing. Like, if you miss someone, you, like, go talk to them, you hang out with them. Okay, that's my mom and Haley. <laughs> right, but not, I guess, the rest of the family. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay, this section does not need to be completed. This time, you can instead head straight for Great Bay. No. Gain the Captain's Hat and learn the Song of Storms will be required later in this quest. The section is found here because in the Tennessee Fortress of the game, you will get an empty bottle, which is very valuable. And the Grotto Fortress... Yes, that's true. The fucking... No, not the pirate... Gerudo's fortress and the eggs? No. You do. You do. Have you gotten the stone mask? Um, I have not yet. I'm pretty sure it's coming up in the walkthrough, though. Yeah, no, I, I don't have it yet. I bet that's what we're getting next, though, Good, There's the stone mask. And sure enough, that's what's next, Good, There's the stone mask. The stone mask is only available in the Kai Kai Nintendo 64 version. Bro, this tape is taking the paint with it. I'm gonna cry. Is it really? Right, yeah. If you wear the stone mask, you're invisible to all the Gerudo bitches. So, first you're gonna need a red potion. You can sort of southern swamp. Okay. <coughs> and it's Ukotake's magic hacks potion shop to purchase one for 20 rupees. Or you can buy it in West Clock Town, the train post for 30 rupees. We're definitely going to Southern Swamp. Whichever you choose, head to Terminal Field, play a Pono song, and ride her through the east exit where a kind of graveyard is. It's not that noticeable, but I noticed it, so it's gonna bother me. Are you gonna like repaint that? I definitely should have got rupees from the bank first. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should've got rupees from the fucking... You know what? And then I could just purchase one for... 
Thirty was a clock town. I'll end up with the paint away already. So, it, so it's not that noticeable. So it's not like you know, strikingly obvious. I'm over painting. Yeah, please do not paint anymore. You, you've had enough painting today. You deserve your rest. I didn't mean to deposit. Let me withdraw. Withdraw. There we go, and then go to here. I have food that I need to eat. Please eat. For the love of God, Hannah, please eat. Someone come down here and get depression ice cream with me. Pities, come over to my state and we can go to a Sonic. There's a Sonic like five minutes away from here. We can go get some blasts. But I'm losing daylight, so I have to get this tape off. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, both of you, come over here. Come the fuck over here and get these Sonic blasts, bruh. So now we gotta get we gotta play Epona's song. And right to the east portion of Termina. I will in December, but you can always come early as like, you know, a a sneak peek. I don't wanna get up, that's why someone wants to come to me. Oh. Yeah, that's that's an issue. Um, I mean, sure, I could, I could come. I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal. <laughs> you have work and so do I. Hey, let's call it, let's call it a sick day, Hannah. Let's, let's call it like a couple sick days, you know? We have a red potion. Now let's go over here. Oh, that's great, Bay. We should go to the west. I thought Great Bay was at the east, not the west. I guess it's Yeah, it says east exit on the walkthrough. Oh god, I'm so fucking stupid. I don't know my east and west, bruh. I don't know my fucking east and west. I'm such a fucking idiot. Thank you, kid, for the lurk. It's only 7.5 hours. And Hannah, it's only 4 hours for you. Man, it's only 4 hours for Hannah? Damn. This place filled with real bombshells, but they can't hurt you since you're on Epina. Oh, excellent. I'm assuming we gotta jump over this gate. Get wrecked, all you stupid bomb chews. There's not much to do here yet, but if you but if you speak with the Shiro. Yee hee hee. What are you doing in a place like this? A kinda hill beyond here is the place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter, then you must obtain the mask containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Without that mask, you cannot save their souls. Until then, I will not let you pass by here. Yee hee hee. Fork over red potion to cure him and receive the stone mask as thanks. Wait, scoot back. We need to talk to this guy. Wait. Is this the guy we should be talking to? Oh, wait. Get off Epin under the circle of stones on the right. Oh. Speak with him to learn that he's been waiting for someone to come... Wait, 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 what? What am I supposed to be doing here? East? I thought you said- Oh my god, hi!
Okay, I do have a red potion for you. Yeah, I found the druid I was looking for. Nice, Nicole. Have some fucking medicine. Ingratitude. Stone mask! Let's get it! Oh, so this was you. what the guy was talking about. Okay. Run all the way to the north of this area and climb the ledge. Here. Then run on through to enter the Akana Graveyard. You'll see a short clip that gives you an overview of the area, showing all the bad bats that fill the place. Fuck you, bomb shoes. Get away from me. Ah, yes, because medicine automatically takes effect, right? Absolutely. Run forward and avoid the enemies. You'll probably go into Dompe, the undead pho phobic gravekeeper. He really needs a new career. Run up to the second of this area and turn right. You'll see a circle of stones here where you can use a bomb or a blast mask in the center to reveal a hole. Here. We do have some bombs. <coughs> oh, give me all these fucking arrows. Hell yes. Oh, yes. But you can drop down and kill the mini bubbles and weather decoboss for deco nuts and sticks. Open the chest for some bomb chews. Okay. Run all the way up to the house where you'll find a giant skeleton curled under the bridge. If you read the inscription next to it, you'll find the skeleton is waiting for someone to challenge it by waking it from its slumber. Ye who wake me, battle me, then I shall extinguish the furious flame. Stand next to it and play the Sonata of Awakening. Thus begin the battle with Skull Kita and cause Ndapi to run and hide, of course. Oh, I remember this. After being awoken, Skull Kita will begin running away. He, if he gets to the end of the track before you can hit him with your sword, he'll disappear and you'll have to go back in time to fight him again. I'm creating a safe state here. Every few yards, there's a wall of fire that comes up along two style children. Skeletal enemies that try to impede your progress, defeat them to go forward. In order to catch Skull Kita, you want to see target him, shoot him with arrows. This will stun him temporarily, giving you a chance to get closer. Keep him targeted the entire time. Back up and slash Staltrum when they appear. They continue to run forward, shooting arrows each time the stone wears off. You'll be... Okay. Once you're close, hit with your sword to initiate the second phase of the battle. Okay, let's... Wait till he gets past. Be ever going with my room to get free of an ice cream. Yes, pities. Go get it. And thank you, kid, for the hydrate. Go get it, pities. Okay, um. There we go. Snob Awakening. Do -do. <coughs> okay, so the goal is we have to get close to him. All right, here's the second phase. Um, Skull Kid will attack you directly and do quite a bit more damage than his many counterparts. You can use your shield to get close and hit him, but he can occasionally hit over it because he's so tall. Instead, shoot him with arrows to stun him, then run and hit him. Okay, can we block on him? Okay, what the fuck? Hit him. There we go. Get fucked, Skull Kita. I got to see and say it's the red door. How was that? Yeah, wasn't that cool, kid? Wait, it is my loss. Sheath your weapon. After you hurt him sufficiently, he'll counterattack by jumping to the air and landing or whatever. I commanded the Akana army of Akana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skull Kida. 
Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me, I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Aww. Tell them the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir. May I take leave, sir? Okay. And Link's just gonna stare at him because he can't speak. Oh, Link salutes back at him. Yes, sir. Aww. I thought Link was just gonna stare at him. Because of his shame. Simply comment to either left or right and jump across. Yeah, wasn't that so cute, kid? Yes. There we go. Open the chest to receive the captain's hat, which contains the spirit of Skull Kida. This is pretty cool as people will mistake you for him when you wear it. Captain's hat. Let's go. Um, as a test run, you can opt out and speak with Dompe while wearing it for a humorous scene, scare him after death. Play the song of double time to get to the first night. Um, stall children roam the graveyard at night and guard the graves. Run over to the three that are circling the tombstone. And where the captain's at. After he's done rambling, order him to open the grave and hop on in. Okay, so we gotta wear captain's hat and look for three skeletons circling a tombstone over here open it please open the grave Bro, this one look like me. How 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 do they not know it's it's not school kid? It's a fucking kid in a, with a mask. Jump across the little island and enter the next area, where there are many bad bats. To defeat them, you can stand the million use the blast mask, then switch to the Deku mask. I'm just gonna stay in here and kill them all. God, I'm getting my ass kicked. There's so many of them. Damn. Goodbye. Once all of them take it, a large chest will appear containing a purple rupee. At this point, you'll need to light all the torches over the door. If you have a deco stick, you can see the light on. You can light the lit torch. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, in the previous area. And we do have a Deku stick. There we go. There's one over here too. There we go. Hearts. Hearts. Fuck. Okay. 
The next room has a statue looking thing in the middle. Hit it with your sword to initiate the battle with the iron knuckle. Oh god, I remember this. This was hard for me. I remember this. This heavily armored foe has an amazing image and attack that may even take you on two hits. If you don't have much life at this point in the game, it takes a moment it takes a moment to swing his axe. However, so take advantage of this and smack him between his swipes. Once you know how to do it, he's not that hard. We gotta be careful because if we get hit. We're gonna take a lot of damage, so we gotta be careful, chat. We gotta be fucking careful. Okay. Oh my god, look at that damage, chat. Fuck, 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 fuck. Z target him, get. Fuck this tape. Oh my fucking god. Fuck this. I'm gonna go eat. Please. Please go eat, Hannah. <laughs> you deserve it. Faster. Step back further to account for this and keep it up longer to defeat him. We gotta be careful. Oh my god. That's hard. Because by the time I see Targ and look back, he's right behind me. So I'm just going to do this. Low suspend point. So the first phase is easy. I hate how he gets like that first jab right there. That's so annoying. Ha! Get fucked. Get fucked. So the red curtains. The curtain platform rise to reveal a large stone tablet. You'll witness a short clip of Flat, one of the two composer brothers to the royal family of Akana. He thanks you and explains that his evil brother continues to name Sharp. Whatever. Tu quieres la chancla? I mean, it didn't what you're eating. Are you the one who freed my soul? <coughs> I serve the Akana royal family. I am the composer called Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all composed by my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. Valdo DoorDash me B-dubs? Yes. It's so gross, it's so good at the same time. I agree. God, I hate Lazel. She's such a bitch. Who is Lazel? Lazel? Thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. Okay, whatever. Song of Storms. We're about to launch. We're about to learn Song of Storms. Keep the song in your heart. Do do do. She's a character. She's a character I can have in my party. Oh, okay, but why she's such a bitch? You remember the song of storms. The this melody that you've heard before is a turbulent tune that blows curses away. All right, that's all there's to do here. So backtrack and exit the grave. Thank God.
play the song of double time to get to the second night. Then repeat the same process, order the next grave to be opened, and side jump across to find some rupees and a jar filled with magic. I need some hearts, though. She pulled a dagger on me? Oh, fuck. That's not kind at all. Damn. So we got Song of Storms. I need hearts, please. Because I have a feeling we're going to face another Iron Knuckle. I need hearts, please. My dog gives me puppy dog eyes. Me. Bitch just laid down on my rock. <laughs> What's your dog's name again, kid? I know your cat's Gamora. Teddy. Teddy just wants some love. So I'm assuming it's a he. Or is it a girl? Because I-E at the end of the name usually means it's a girl. She's a poor, neglected puppy? She is. She just wants some love. Yes, she does. She just needs some love. Alright, that's enough hearts for now. All right, so we got to go back through here. Make it the second night. There we go. Sorry, chat. I make weird noises when it gets late at night. I'm trying to teach her now that she can only get in my bed with permission. So how how do, how do you want her to ask permission? Wait, is it? Okay, I need to do it one more time. Proceed to the night of the second day. Yes. Repeat, por favor. It's a bit noisy in the house. How do you want your dog to ask permission? I forgot I had that shit on my tonsil. This food hurts. So is it feeling better today because you forgot about it? But now I probably won't feel as good because of the food you're eating. Because it is. It is a Buffalo Wild Wings. Open this fucking grave. Open. Thank you. Thank you very much. A fry scratched it? Oh, damn, it wasn't a wing. Oh my god, I bet it hurt like fuck. Hello there. Ha ha ha. In this room, you don't have to work your way over to the opposite side. But there seems to be no way to do that. Use the lens of truth to see an invisible path. There's invisible bats in here. Come at me, bruh. What are you, scared? Uh, the gilded sword now. Oh, okay. Bro, the sculptures are so weird in this game. Like, see? How, how are you hitting me? There we go. Oh my fucking god. Bro, the sculptures are so ass. How do you hit them? And when all they do is just... Bruh! Oh my god, I forgot about the first one. 
So I guess judges get really close. God, the fucking keys. Fuck off, game. God, so many fucking enemies in here. Give me hearts. One heart. Gamora's trying to reach the door handle. Well, it's just she's been jumping my bed so much again. Shit on. Oh, I see. The what? The what's on your chat in the same way? The way you sit on your chair is the same way I sit in chairs. Yo. Hey, I <laughs> So you sit like this too, like with your leg up like this? Hey, I do it all the time. Again, Android. I'm going to bed. Hannah, no. Hannah, no, it's okay. We all make typos, it's okay. It's okay, I need a bomb. What do you mean, no? And in order to yet find another iron knuckle. God damn it. I don't want to find another iron knuckle. It's going to hurt me. Save point. Save point. Oh god. Bruh, how? I hit you. You can't hit me when I hit you. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bro, I must have had a fucking stroke. <laughs> Hannah, I love you. I hope you know that. I really fucking love you. I was get my ass kicked by fucking iron knuckles. How do you still- Bruh, motherfucker, how'd you hit me? I love you too, but for fuck's sake, I hate- Hannah, it, it's, it's gonna be okay, okay? Oh my god, it's gonna be okay. Don't, don't, don't worry about it, okay? We, we all we all do it, we all do. We all do the same thing. This iron knuckle can kiss my white ass, quite frankly. Thank God, bruh. It's not. I had a long fucking day today. I know you did. You worked really hard, Hannah. You worked extremely hard to paint the house. You should treat yourself. Treat your damn self. Now my phone on some fuck shit. So there's a piece of heart. Thank God. Now I gotta work our way back out. And the enemies res- Do not tell me the enemies fucking respawn, bro. Wow, game. Unreal. Fuck you, Key. Suck my dick. Oh my god. Bro, they- they- they freaking- Buff these sculptulas. They're so fucking like. Be so fucking for real right now. Fuck you, Keys. But there's fucking Keys everywhere and shit. Bruh, how? How in God's name? You get just 
For some reason, they somehow can, like, deflect your sword attacks and spin and do some bullshit. Cool, honey, it's okay. I know it's okay, but fuck, man. Here comes this motherfucker. What? It's okay to struggle. <laughs> I know it is, Hannah. I know it's okay to struggle. I just want to get out of this fucking cave. But no, we gotta have some respawning enemies. I want the lens of truth. Thank you. Oh my Christ almighty. This is not happening right now. There's a fucking case of sculptulas! Oh my god. Please die. Go to hell. Especially these damn sculptulas. What's gonna happen now? Come on. Come on. Don't be a pussy now. Fight me. Oh, now you're gonna go hide over by the jar. Okay, that's just great. Link, I'm gonna need you to stop. I'm back with... Pities, is it the Jamoka Shake? Pities, is it, Jam is it the J is it the Jamoka Shake? Not you, Hannah. Not you. Not <laughs> you. <laughs> Get out of my fucking sight. Thank you. Get me out of this fucking cave. <gasps> Pities, oh my God, I want a Jamoka Shake. Pities, you're about to be in in heaven. Those shakes are fucking delicious. Probably the best thing on Arby's menu. Oh, it's 100% Gucci. For sure. For sure. Can I please have some hearts? I did not mean to kill you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Place on adult time. <laughs> oh, not Pikachu, Pikachu with two U's. Gucci, Gucci. La la la. <laughs> Can I please have some hearts? Here you go. Thank you, Hannah. Those are the hearts I want. So now it's gonna be third night. Open the large glass grave and enter. This takes you to a very large room with several patches of soft soil. Jumped down here with Dompe. Apparently he decided to go on a little treasure hunt. But his lantern went out. He's willing to split the treasure with you until you lead him to all the diggable spots. Sounds good. Use the live towel to lead him to the round by Z targeting. Oh, this fucking sucks. This part fucking blows. Just in case some bullshit happens, chat. This part fucking blows. Excuse you. Yeah, I'm your fucking king. Open the damn grave. Open it! Yeah, some feck shit. Fuck shit. There are a total of six dirt patches in this room. Four down low and two up high. Lead Dompe to find them to have them dig up, potentially revealing a blue flame. The goal is to find all three blue flames. The dirt patches they're in are random each time you play. To get Dompe to the higher dirt patches, have them stand on the dark brown panels on the floor and then step off them. They'll steadily rise and take them to that side of the room. So click on the ladder blocks to get to that side as well. Once or three of have been found, a big pole will appear and Dompe will quickly disappear. Dompe, hi. Whatever, please, yes. Over here, Dompe. Dude. Do I have to be like right by you or some shit? 
Oh, I think I have to Z target him. Ah, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. Nothing's turning up. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? Fuck. Tattle. See target. You didn't tell me there's wall masters in here walk through. You never told me there are wall masters in here. Walk through. That's kind of important information. Bruh, pity this game is so bad. Oh, okay, he's doing it now. When the fuck were wall masters in here? Whatever. Dig. So I guess when there's a wall master, we fucking run. Oh, I think that dirt patch we dug up spawned a. No 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 no. Fuck off. So pity, who is GG's again? Oh my god. Over here. What if I kill the wall master? Oh, game grums. God, they're fucking funny. Why are you here again? Over here, Dompe. Gurg <laughs> mom. Okay, come over here now. Dompe. God, I'm telling you, Dompe, you need to stop coming to these Zelda games because your mini games are always so fucking frustrating. You need to just die. That's really mean. Okay, time to go upstairs, buddy. Okay, climb the ladder. Come on. Please be a blue flame. Thank God. It's the leader of the ghosts. Where's the Poe? Z target him, Tattle, for fuck's sake. There we go. He's so cute, though. Freaking Dompe, bro. I'm giving the game a rest for tonight. Nicole, are you okay? You are? All right, just a few more hits. There we go. Before I hang up there, I was next to the soul and pick up over with the bottle.
You can sell this at the curiosity shop in West Clocktown later. Climb up the ledge and open to get the piece of heart. The N64 again, this will have another empty bottle. Yes. My character almost turned into a mind flare. What the fuck is a mind flare? Climb up the ramp and slash the jars. Since one of them contains a purple rupee. Well, that's a fucking lie. Go up the stairs, which leads to Dompe's house. Yo, Calm, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to stream. Oh, these? You meant these? Oh, there it is. What's up, Calm? It has tentacles like an octopus? Oh. I checked my work email. Just now, and these assholes sent me 24 fuck. Why? We're going back to Clock Town. Oh, you finished your capstone? I'm officially done with my coding boot camp and graduate tomorrow. Calm, congratulations. I bet you're so happy. And you should be, because I'm sure that was a lot of work. Every time they update something in our system, we have to take a training for it. But 24 fucking trainings? God damn. Do they realize that like, you have a life outside of work? Put the rupees in the bank and then sell the big po and then put more rupees in the bank. And then play the song of time when we get to go to Great Bay, but it's almost time for me to log off chat, so we're gonna... Do this and we're going to raid out to somebody. Raid to somebody. I can't do them at home. They have to be done at work. Oh. They have to be boring, aren't they? They have to be boring. Damn it. Why damn it? I'm still sitting here trying to work and keep nodding off. I'm so fucking sleepy. That's a whole ass mood. I know. Great bit next time because the side quest took a bit. You'll see Great Bay Tuesday. Okay, really, Curiosity Shop? Why are you open at 10? That makes no fucking sense. There we go. There we go. Do, do, do. Okay, let's hurry and make this. Let's hurry. VC tonight, Cole. I want to show you all my amazing paint job. I'll be in there. Just like always, after I stream, I have to go take a walk. And then I'll come back and be in the VC. So give me like 30 minutes or so. That sucks. All kinds of rancid donkey giblets. And I generally hope you can get that worked out enough. So you can have your weekend. That was so, you're the verbiage, rancid donkey giblets. I need to say that now, rancid donkey giblets. I know the moon's coming down. Can't really see because of the overhang, but. Is this whole thing covered in a, oh, the moon's right fucking there. All right, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna sell you some shit. <laughs> sell us the item. This big po. 200 rupees, let's fucking go. Thank you very much. I loved everything about that chat, but I'm off today and tomorrow, but work Saturday. Which freaking sucks, bro. That sucks. Why can't you be off Friday, Saturday? Not Thursday, Friday. 
I'm sad. Deposit. I would like to make a deposit. 200. Now we're at 774 rupees. I'm calling in Saturday. I don't care. Fuck them. Are you sure? Okay, I gotta play Song of Time. <coughs> That's the spirit. Fuck them. <laughs> Save. Okay, chat. We are about to raid out to somebody. If you can, please, please stay for the raid. We're gonna see which lucky contestant is going to get a mall family raid. Bo da da, bo da da. Down, 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 down. No, I'm driving an hour and a half away to work for two hours just to drive back to an hour and a half. I know. Thank you, Tracy, for displaying the raid message in the chat. Copy this raid message. Chat, and we will get the raid started. Crisis bad point, just in case. There we go. Okay. So chat, let's see who we're rating out tonight. Who who we are rating out to. That's probably a better way to say that. Give me just a second to adjust my shit. We're rating with the fat 18 viewers, y'all. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Let me do a quick little adjustment here. Alrighty. There you all are. Okay. Let's take a good looker look -see, look sees. Let's write Matthew Daft. We definitely could. We could raid him. We got Crow, Ro, we got your mama. Ooh, she's playing. Should we raid Daft tonight? I suggest a buddy of mine, but I think they're wrapping up in the next 15 minutes. The timing, right? The timing. <gasps> Gotta raid your mom. Okay, so we have some options to raid, guys. We have Croft, we have Daft, we've got Harry, we've got Roan, and then Crow. So I'll put these five lovely people in the poll, unless someone redeems the guy the raid. But your mom. <laughs> okay, raid. We've got Daft, who's playing. Parappa, the the rapper 2 music game, not surprised. Croft is playing Assassin's Creed 2. Roan's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Joe Mama is also playing Baldur's Gate 3. And then finally we have Crow, who is playing Project Zomboid. For this, I'm only going to allow um, actual votes, not like bits and shit. Croft is playing Assassin's Creed. Any of these five people we want to raid chat, we certainly can. Daft Thewski. Oh, fuck, raiding myself. So, all these five people are lovely chat. Um, Daft is the reason why I know a lot of the close people in my community. Um, I didn't put Harry on here. I'm so sorry, Harry. Croft is also a sweet girl. She cosplays. She plays a whole bunch of, like, um... What kind of games? I think she's like a variety streamer. Ron's also cool. Crow's part of our community. And Jomama. I haven't seen Jomama in a hot minute, so I hope she's well. Who's winning the vote? We got two for Croft. One for Daft. I know. I forgot to put on the, on the freaking poll. I was like, where's Harry? I forgot to put him there. We have three votes for Croft, so we're going to raid out to her tonight, chat. Ooh. So like I said, chat, this girl's amazing. You're going to love her. She's so sweet. Very interactive with her community. Um, blop. Um, like always, chat, copy the raid message that Tracy already sent into the chat. And we're going to start this raid with a fat 17 viewers. Let's get it, chat. I know, Hannah. I'm sorry. Like always, chat, I love you. I honor you. I celebrate you. 
If you ever feel that your faith is wavering, know that my faith in you will always, always be there. Keep your light shining chat at 159 watts instead of 70 watts. And if anybody out there can handle your light, then tell them to put on some shades because their rejection is your protection. I'll see you tomorrow for a community night. For those who can attend tomorrow at 9 p.m., give Croft all the love for me, chat. Okay, this is going to be quite a raid. I appreciate you too, Calm. Much love, Mod family. Take care, guys.